Hey friends, today we are going to be shopping around for some Disney props and pieces of memorabilia from the different parks and resorts. But first I want to take you guys to check out this super rare Disney popcorn cart that was used in MGM Studios in the 90s that's actually for sale. Anywho's, let's go do this. And take a look at this. This is an MGM Studios popcorn cart. This was right outside the Chinese theater in the park and they actually serve popcorn out of it. That is amazing and it's for sale. Like so crazy and it even has a little Roasty Toasties guy in there and Orville Redenbacher. I can't even believe it. Like where, how, how does this actually end up being for sale? Like this is some park history right here and it's so amazing and I'm just kind of honored to be able to come and check it out and I get to actually go inside of it. You can see it's actually got its license from 1999. That is crazy. Department of Business and Professional Regulation. So mind blowing. And I'm pretty sure probably he is still working. I'm sure if you actually fix it up a little bit, you can uh, make some popcorn. Another cool thing to point out is we found a picture of the popcorn cart right in front of the sorcerer hat at MGM Studios. And how cool is that? That is the one that we are looking at right now. So crazy. Well, it's over 20 years old. It's been out of commission for 20 years because the license ended in 1999. So it hasn't gotten a new license. So I'm sure it hasn't been in service for a while, but I'm sure you can get this bad boy fired up and uh, you know make some popcorn <laughs> i wanted to hop inside of it and just take a look around and look at the 90s coke like uh decals there like the 90s diet coke doesn't look the same anymore and wow this is crazy keep motor and heat switch off when not popping corn mind blowing the little guy's actually still churning oh look at that that is so cool and of course it comes with some cups so you can actually serve up some soda or popcorn. That is just, honestly, this is so mind blowing to be in here and just look at all this stuff and just touch it. Wow. And somebody's gonna have this. Somebody's gonna own it. Somebody will buy this and it's gonna be either in a collection or at someone's house and I don't know, it is really magical. I'm pretty sure they're asking just about $25,000 for this. And like I said, I mean, there are collectors out there that will pay $25,000 for this. And I'll give you all the contact information in case that's one of you guys and you actually want to own a Disney Orville Rennenbacher's actual popcorn cart from MGM Studios. Kind of saying that out loud is mind blowing. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> just to be able to say that, like go up to somebody, well, you know what I got? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that is so crazy. <laughs> But it's also so massive. It is the size of a car. And it's got the top there. And holy moly, I love all the different sayings on it. Like hot popcorn, cold drinks. I like serving Orville Redenbacher, gourmet popcorn. Like this is really awesome. This is my favorite though right here. Just having this, you know what I mean? And to have your own little guy there too. If you guys have any questions or if you actually want to purchase this and you want a little bit more information, then you can reach out to Recycling the Magic and uh, just talk to Becky and Pat and they're going to be able to help you out. I'll put all their information in the description below, but you can see they have their phone number, the email, and uh, yeah, just contact them and they'll give you all the history. To me, I just like looking at it. You know what I mean? I just like being <laughs> here and like touching it and being able to go inside. That is history enough for me. <laughs> right now, the popcorn card is at Redner's Antique and Flea Market in Mount Dora, Florida. And they actually have an antique extravaganza coming up November 19th, 20th, and 21st. And I definitely plan on coming back and checking that out. Uh, but actually now, I think I'm gonna move along and we're gonna do some more shopping and try to find some other crazy, amazing Disney props and memorabilia. I'm going to make my way into the Lakeland Antique Mall. It's been a while since I've been down here, so hopefully they got a lot of new stuff that I can show you and possibly buy. Once again, anything that you guys see, you can actually purchase here. So I'm going to put all the links in descriptions for the popcorn cart, Lakeland Antique Mall. If it's something that you want, uh, just you know, call or check it out and inquire about it. 
first thing that caught my eye is this Disney Studios limited edition street sign. And this is so cool. Look at that. Dopey Drive up top, Mickey Avenue, in between special effects, animation, and it's actually very big. Now, I think this is a replica of the sign, and it's just kind of like a, a, like a collector's item, but I like this a lot. I would love to have this in my house. And it looks like they're selling it for just about uh, $4,000. Last time it was sold, it was sold for $4,500. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. A little more information about the sign. It was created by Kevin Kidney and Jody Daly. So, very nifty. Take a look at this. This is a construction helmet from maybe Epcot Center for opening day, October 1st, 1982. And it says Buena Vista Construction Company, Walt Disney Productions, 1970. And on the inside, it uh, has a name, Wonderful John. That is so awesome. It is $595, but this is super rare and super unique. I mean, honestly, I don't know all the information about it, but I kind of love it. Another awesome thing I found is this old Mickey Mouse mailbox. And this is an actual mailbox from the Walt Disney Company. I'm not too sure how old it is, but it's still got the price tag on it. And it was $29.95. And I would say probably in the 80s or 90s. And that's really cool. It actually gives you the post office requirements on it. So it's very fancy stuff. I'll try to let you guys know the prices of everything. Some of the items aren't marked, but if you do have any questions, like I said, I'll put all the information in the description. And if you want to purchase something, just reach out and, you know, ask away. In the past, I showed you guys all this cool original Snow White artwork, but right in front of it now, they have a pretty big Mickey Mouse and a Roger Rabbit. And you don't see Roger Rabbit that often. And these guys are pretty big. I mean, they're like three, maybe 400 feet tall. And the Mickey Mouse is actually limited to 500. So there's only 500 of them. That's pretty awesome. And then over here, they have a nice little sign for Disneyland, 30th year. Disneyland's 30th year and Walt Disney World just celebrated its 50th. Crazy, right? I know there's a lot of big fig collectors out there and we got a couple here. Goofy, Mickey, I like the patriotic Mickey right there. And the cool thing is they're actually sitting on top of an old Main Street window display from the Emporium. How crazy is that? I showed this before in the videos, but it's still here and it's pretty amazing. It's actually a Walt Disney World Main Street Emporium Snow White window display for almost $26,000. So cool, what history. It being very close to Halloween, I wanna show you some really old Halloween costumes from Disney that are still in the box brand new. And these are actually hard to come by because they deteriorate and they go to waste so fast and they get ruined. To find them like this is kind of rare. Look at these. We've got some Donald Ducks. I would actually say some of these are from 1930. We've got Mickey Mouses over here. The Mouseketeer one in the back there. The Ben Cooper Mouseketeer boy costume. That is really awesome. I think this is Tinkerbell. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think that is Tinkerbell. And there's actually quite a few of them. I mean, these are super rare, like I said. Lots of Mickey. Oh, this one looks really scary, actually. That's Donald down there. And they're selling for like $145 to $110. And I think there's a couple more on this side as well. Oh, is that Peter? Peter Pan. That is really, really awesome. Seriously, so cool. I would never wear one for Halloween. I would probably just keep it the way it is like now. But these are amazing. Inside the Halloween costume box, they also have some light bulbs from the Main Street Electrical Parade. So you can own a piece of the Main Street Electrical Parade. Right here is a little light bulb, and these are selling for $50 a piece. They have a couple of them here, and these are always really nifty. I love them. They actually look like a Magic Band box, don't they? This is something I haven't seen before. Cut out patches from cast member costumes. They've got like the exclusive Walt Disney World security patch right there. A Disney photo pass one. They've got custodial guest services, the Polynesian Resort. Those are really nifty. And also they've got some vintage Walt Disney uh, model kits back here. We got Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh, is that a Haunted Mansion one? Oh wow, that is really cool. That's a Grave Robbers Reward Haunted Mansion Model Kit Series. $525 for that. And the patches are like $50. I mean, these are really kind of cool. You could put these on probably a jean jacket. 
I mean, I like this one. Oh, these are actually really awesome too. A bunch of tickets from Disney World and Disneyland. Like, look at this. These are uh, 1970s Magic Kingdom Park ride. This is for the omnibus, the horse cars, the Main Street vehicles. And then we've got the Walt Disney World. This is a C ticket. And a couple of other just stubs and amazing items. Like, these are really awesome. And they're all framed and ready to go too. Another twenty dollars, twenty dollars. That's really awesome. Oh, a no strings attached pass. That is awesome. I mean, these are really, really cool. They used to give these out to guests whenever they had like an issue, and it would be either like a fast pass or a free T-shirt or anything like that. And this one seems a little bit older. And uh, yeah, I mean, that is really awesome to keep in a little frame. What's funny is you can buy that no strings attached pass and fill it out and maybe just go take it for $20 and you know use it as a uh, lightning lane pass to actually go right on an attraction. I mean you're paying $20 for it but I would wait for like Tron or Guardians of the Galaxy but I don't know if it's valid unless it actually has a cast member signature on it. I don't know if you could just fill it out but it'd be interesting to find out. Look at this full-size Big Bad Wolf costume right here. This is amazing, and it has all the little pigs on it. It's got the little <laughs> hands, and it's got the, the paws, the feet. That is so cool, and it's a large. I think I'm gonna try it on. I wanna see what it's like. I noticed that look on your arm. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at this. I had to try it on. <laughs> I'm the Big Bad Wolf. I love it. This is so cool, and I got the little pigs right here, too. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Yes, please take a photo. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh this is God. so... This is... This is seriously one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That is only $150. I think that is amazing. That is so cool. I probably would probably run around the house with Gracie wearing that. She'd probably be scared half to death. She would probably not even come near me. We were talking about some of the Halloween costumes and Christmas is right around the corner. And there's a lot of cool Christmas big figs here. And you got Mickey and you got Donald. And then take a look at all of this. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty impressive. It's a Small World Holiday 1994. And you got Mickey, Minnie, Goofy. Oh, there's Goofy. Look at that. I like how Goofy is all tangled up with uh, lights. Kind of fits him perfectly. It also looks like they've got some nice train sets here that are still brand new actually in the box. And these are a little bit older ones. This one's Big Thunder Mountain. I don't think I've ever seen a Big Thunder Mountain train set before. That is really cool. Look at $249. And that was probably, I would say in the 2000s, maybe 90s. Nice. And they're hard to come by. Here's an older one too. This is a Lionel one and it has a realistic air whistle. I like Mickey with his little uh, Santa cap on. That is really fancy. And they're all brand new, like still wrapped up and everything. Very nifty. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video because I actually want to show you guys any cool things that I actually end up adding to my collection after today uh, once we get home. And I always think it's fun to actually show you guys what I'm actually leaving with. You know what I mean? One of my favorite things that I like to personally collect are these old safety signs. Look at this one, eye safety, jeepers creepers protect those peepers. And this is $125. And they have a lot of cool stuff here. They got a Disneyland grad night sign, chaperone headquarters. They've got some other prints. Oh, this is a Tigger. Oh, wow. That's an actual Tigger animation right there. It's $175. <laughs> some film classics here. Let's see what else, some Pandora prints. See, all this stuff is like really nifty to me. Ooh, that is really nice. Patsy Bailey, and look, there's the Contemporary Resort. Things like this I kind of get excited for. Oh, Disneyland Paris, 20th anniversary. There's another one right there. Oh, hello, Pooh. <laughs> A lot more cool signs, including this Mickey Mouse Club uh, footstool. I mean, that's kind of cool, old and vintage. Then we've got the Disneyland, Mickey's Worldwide Kids Party for Canada. I like all of this stuff. All this stuff is like really awesome, things that I would personally buy. And then take a look at uh, Fantasia Mickey up there. 
that's a cool one and oh wow it's a big winnie the pooh i mean that is a big big pooh <laughs> i swear i didn't do that on purpose but that was hysterical so i'm gonna keep that in <laughs> these are really interesting some vintage disney serving trays i like this one because it has like the country bears in it it's got uh it's a small world main street little girl with uh mickey ears on that looks like the jungle cruise and they're only 20 dollars. and they actually have a couple different ones here as well i don't know how old these are but they're really cool to look at like i like them a lot $20 is definitely a good purchase for those and they also have some really interesting license plates as well You know, I love checking out the license plates Some old Disney MGM studio license plates kind of where our popcorn cart came from these are about $75 Oh, I like this one a lot right there. That one is really awesome. And then they have a Pleasure Island one, too I haven't seen one of those before a lot of these things actually do come with certificates of authenticity too so if you just ask if it actually has a coa they'll let you know and some of them are actually displayed with the article so you know exactly what they are right here is like a yellow pink can display prop that used to be in the disney store and i wanted to show you what a certificate of authenticity looks like and right there it is from the walt disney company and it just basically gives you the size material condition history and everything like that one thing that always blows my mind is whenever you're out looking for like Disney props or Disney memorabilia or vintage items, you come across things that Walt Disney World actually just made and never used. Like whenever they actually do rehabs or refurbs on different uh, attractions or resorts, they have so much back stock that it is insane. And right now they have tons of Port Orleans uh, mirror displays that were supposed to be in the rooms that never got used. They were never put in the rooms and you can actually buy them here like that's kind of it's, it's it's really interesting like brand new in the box and it tells you everything on them right here the walt disney world resort royal room rehab mirror and vanity and these are supposed to go to port orleans and we have a couple of them out of the box over here you can look at and it's got all the different princesses on it like ariel rapunzel cinderella and it's just crazy like these never made it to the refurbisher they just made too many and you can buy one for uh 295 dollars and they're heavy i mean they're they're very big very big royal princess mirrors over here you can see some walt disney world imagineering jackets and a magic kingdom one right there that is really awesome see how it says magic kingdom right on the top there that one looks like it's $325 and they used to, I remember seeing maybe them wear these like on Main Street uh, during the couple of days that it's actually cold here in Florida. But this is something kind of interesting. This is a Disney Grand Floridian Grand Opening Alarm Clock and they actually gave these out to guests and look at Disney's Grand Floridian Beach Resort. Take a look on the inside. It's definitely very old. They don't give these things out anymore. But I, I really like this. $45. I wonder if it still works. You might need to change the battery on it. But that is cool. Here are a couple cast member name tags. We got Teresa. We've got Patrick. We've got Terry, Dave, Lee. And some of them are from the uh, farewell season of the Main Street Electrical Pageant. Or Parade. I don't know why I always say pageant. And then down here, this is kind of cool. Some Hollywood Studios photos. And that's the dinosaur like dinosaur live i forgot that they were there they had a lot of strange things at mgm studios like the power rangers and goosebumps and i don't know it's kind of cool it's just a photo but it's really like a kind of like a shocker i feel like anytime i come here i'm like a kid in a candy shop and i just want to buy everything because it's all just so amazing over here we have a lot more amazing items a couple of halloween horror night props and some universal studios items but the thing that kind of caught my attention is this bench right here and this bench is from animal kingdom lodge and it's so beautiful like this was actually at animal kingdom lodge uh and it's right there like by the fire pit that is so cool it is 500 and oh 895 dollars i mean that's pretty that's pretty rare oh and then back here we have some nickelodeon seats this was from uh one of the tv shows and they actually just like swing around for 
kind of like this, right? Oh, you're gonna pull it out, nice. Look at this. That is so cool. <laughs> I wonder if this was in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios. Uh, I believe so. Wow. That is so cool. How much are they? I have to ask the boss. Uh... Oh, there's a little price tag. $3.95. Oh, yeah. Universal Studios original prop, Nickelodeon chair prop. That is crazy awesome. One of the strange things is, is sometimes there's a special performance or some kind of entertainment that's no longer available at Walt Disney World. And a lot of the stuff actually ends up here. And take a look at this. Rivers of Light props. Isn't that crazy? Like these are actual River of Light props. And obviously the show's gone and Kite Tales is there now. But it's kind of crazy that you can own a piece of Rivers of Light. And also the Contemporary Resort actually went through that gigantic refurbishment. So all that Contemporary art is here. And you can buy it. Like these are from the rooms at the Contemporary. And they're only $25. Like that blows my mind. Perfectly framed art for $25. And it actually shows you in the room where the art was at and i think that's mind-blowing like these were right next to the bed and they're all t they're only 25 dollars on the back of all the pictures they actually have a stamp that lets you know everything about them so this is disney worldwide shared services contemporary resort guest units and it tells you the refurbishment of when it went in it went in in 2005 that's insane, right? So you actually get the kind of like a certificate of authenticity with all of them and you get photo proof. I also like to see a lot of stuff from the parks as well. And there's actually a big selection of things from Epcot's World Showcase here. And I think that is kind of cool. There are multiple items from World Showcase, well, from the Morocco Pavilion at World Showcase right here. And that is crazy. And they'll actually show you where everything actually comes from. So this stand was actually in the store oh, with the hidden Mickey. And that is $74.99. They also have this right here that they can put up and that's $195. The benches, that is crazy. Holy moly. These are actually huge. These are $300 a piece. That is massive. You guys know how much I love Disney's Contemporary Resort. So those photos are pretty amazing. But something that I really, really am going to miss is the Blue Room in the Wave. And uh, right now it is Steakhouse 71. The Blue Room is no longer there. But I think I'm going to walk out of here with a piece of history from the Wave. They have the blue ottomans from the blue room in the wave here, and that is crazy. $125, and you gotta figure, there was probably only like a handful or a dozen of these. There's only two blue rooms, and you would actually sit on these around the tables, and so many memories. I had monorail crawls just hanging out in the blue room, and for $125 to actually have that forever now, I think that's worth it. That is really awesome. The Lakeland Antique Mall is so massive and it's not just Disney props or Disney memorabilia They have everything here and you can spend hours in here and even if something's not like a piece of prop or memorabilia uh, I like all things Disney and when it comes to custom art uh, I kind of get super excited about that as well And I stumbled upon a booth that actually has some amazing Disney custom art that is like kind of breathtaking this stand right here is Melly's Remarket, and I kind of love everything that's in here. Look at this Nightmare Before Christmas uh, artwork that she has right here. That is mind-blowing, honestly. I don't know what all the writing is, but this is all writing. If anything, it might be lyrics to some of the songs, or maybe it actually is the script. It starts off with Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, and I just love it. And they also have some cool Star Wars items as well. And it's kind of like repurposed items. Like, that is really unique. This desk, look at this Star Wars desk. That is crazy awesome. Look at the little knobs. Wow. This is $350, maybe just for the chair? <gasps> it says Admiral on the back. Wow, these are really, really cool. I love everything in here, even that right there. That is mind-blowing. Beetlejuice, Edward Scissor's hands, the Headless Horseman, and Jack and Sally. That is a beautiful piece of art right there. This right here though, 
is something I actually want to buy maybe. Like I love this and it's only $170. It's like a repurposed window, but it's a map of Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, Fort Wilderness, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and it's got a little Mickey right there as well. $170 for that. I think that is so awesome. Someone made that. Here's a little bit more information about Melly's Remarket, and I really like this. Upcycled designs for your home, and that is really nifty. These are really cool. And like I said, if you're just not into like Disney or toys or anything like that, there's still some like unique antiques here and also some amazing like circus memorabilia that I think is really cool because I do like circus memorabilia as well. They've got everything from old Ringling, Barnum and Bailey uh, posters to even like antique Ferris wheel carts. Like that is insane. Look at that. This is a Ferris wheel like cart ride vehicle and can you I, I mean back in that times you know you would ride this no problem but i would be terrified to actually get in this even in mint condition even if it was like a hundred percent mint condition i'd be uh terrified to actually ride it <laughs> now i think i'm all done and we're gonna head home and i'm gonna show you guys some of the nifty things i'm picking up today all right we are home and i want to show you guys some of the cool things i got today i got a bunch of tickets from disneyland these are really awesome and they're in this nice little frame and right down here is an e-ticket for disneyland how cool is that so this is like the top tier the e-ticket attractions the haunted mansion the country bear jamboree space mountain all the good stuff right there and then i also got one for walt disney world and these are from the 1970s. So you got another Magic Kingdom key coupon over there. Another E attraction there. Here's a C attraction. The C, uh, the C ticket is uh, Flight to the Moon, Peter Pan's Flight, and Swiss Family Island Treehouse. And then the D is Enchanted Tiki Birds, Tom Sawyer's Island, uh, the Skyway, and the uh, Joe Fowler. How funny is that? Like, these are really awesome and I'm glad I got them. But also, take a look at this. Gracie Goo, look at what I got. Look at this, Gracie Goo. That's you. Don't be afraid of the picture frame. Come on. It's just a picture frame. That's all. It's you. That's you. That's you. Yes, it is. See? Now you like it. Yeah, that's you. She is super afraid of the picture frame. I don't get it. I don't even think she got to look at the picture. If she saw it was another Dalmatian, she probably would love it. And one more thing I ended up getting today is a little piece of the wave at Disney's Contemporary. A little piece of the good old blue room. Gonna miss it. Steakhouse 71 now, but I got a little... Uh, little bit of uh, the wave right here at my own house. Not too sure what I'm going to do about it, like what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just stare at it and look at it and say, hey, you know what? I own a piece of the blue room from the wave. And I think we are done here. I had such a fun day shopping around, showing you guys some cool items. And I'm pretty sure I have a couple more videos within the next week of some cool spots where you can buy props and different Disney thrifting areas. And it's gonna be fun. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while because it's been so busy uh, with the 50th anniversary and everything like that. So I was covering a whole bunch of park stuff that I wanted to make sure I got back out and showed you guys some of the cool props and antiques and thrifting and all the cool stuff that I love going to and make sure you check out all the different links I uh, put in the description uh, don't forget about the Redner's uh, antique and flea market the antique extravaganza which is like November 19 20 and 21st I'm definitely going to that and I'll put like a Facebook link in the description if you want to check it out uh, and I'm pumped because it's gonna be huge but uh, like I said I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye